sell out to consumers. So the question is, if you're the service owner or a service author, how do you bring your service out into the cloud? You deploy it over the various cloud providers that are out there. And there are a slew of the cloud providers out there. And they're all very diverse, with diverse <laughs> capabilities and uh, diverse technologies. And your service, to be effective and valuable, needs to run on all those different cloud providers and technologies. But that's difficult today. In fact, it's almost impossible today. service owner or service author derive no value from your service unless you can port that service to a meaningful service provider. So that's difficult because services are complicated. Services have huge deployment dependencies on underlying physical and virtual infrastructure. They have huge dependencies uh, on hardware, even if it's virtual hardware, and sometimes it's real hardware. They have dependencies on various kinds of software infrastructure as well. Uh, web servers and application servers, uh, databases, all kinds of diversity out there. And to understand and be able to deploy that service as it might exist, as those different pieces might be available or made available in different cloud providers is daunting. So the first way you might think to do that is to leverage existing virtualization standards there's some out there that will allow you to take a snapshot, a photograph almost, if you will, of the current state of a web server. And since services are complicated, and as I said, they have lots of different kinds of applications and infrastructure, from you know, app servers to web servers to database servers to whatever, and all at different patch levels, and all at different uh, versions of, their, of, of the software, uh, you've got to take a snapshot of a lot of different things and somehow reconstitute those snapshots somewhere else on a different cloud provider with different characteristics and make it work. And that's not going to work any more than taking uh, a snapshot of, uh, you know, this town and then somehow reconstituting those snapshots somewhere else or replicate this town somewhere else. So Tosca is there really to address that challenge. I see. have these complex services that you've created or you that you own, and they have limited value until you can deliver them and deploy them and undeploy them and patch them and unpatch them and scale them in and scale them out on different kinds of cloud providers. And that's essentially the purpose of Tosca. It's to associate the expertise that's uh, associated with that particular service with your destination. So the idea behind Tosca in a nutshell is uh, through a modeling approach, you can define the t what we call the topology, the basic relationship between the relationships and the entities that constitute your service, uh, as well as codify the knowledge implicit in managing that life cycle, deploy, undeploy, patch, all that. And who understands, who has that knowledge, the service owner and the service author. So, this Tosca represents, in a very simple specification, a way of codifying a lot of those, uh, if you will, best practices in a sense, but they're really operational knowledge about that service and use that knowledge to redeploy that service uh, wherever you need it to be. So as you can see, Tosca has a very strong uh, underlying business value, and that's probably the reason why there are over 100 members of Tosca TC and it continues seven months into its inception to have new members on an almost weekly basis because there is really uh, no other standard that I am aware of that really tries to focus on this use case at the service level in the industry. And uh, it is a tribute to the uh, support we've received from the OASIS staff uh, that Tosca has thrived and been uh, so far quite successful uh, we're actually uh, just uh, approved our third committee spec draft this last week, and we continue to make wonderful progress. And so I invite you all to either join the Costco DC or ask me questions afterwards. Thank you very much.